We all need God. We all need our spirit guides and guardian angels. And throughout our spiritual journey, we all need a mentor, an elder, or a spiritual teacher. Hi, I am Eve the Medium, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, it is a great pleasure to be back with you all. I'd like to start this video with some shout outs. Thank you to my godson for all these beautiful scarves he's always sending me to model in my videos. I love you, God bless you, and may the Loire always walk with you. And another shout out to Will at New York Airport. Will, thank you so much for supporting my channel and being a fan of my channel. Thank you, I appreciate you. God bless you. And by the way, you have awesome, awesome energy. I also like to take the time to thank each and every one of you for your support and all those new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you. And if you are new to my channel, I have not subscribed yet. You can subscribe below and also click the notification bell to be notified when any of my new videos are up. Now to today's video, which is the English version of my previous video. We all need a mentor. We all need an elder. We all need a spiritual teacher throughout our spiritual journey. And why? Because this is a path that cannot be walked alone. We must always have someone by our side to guide us and share their wisdom with us. Someone that has walked this path prior to us and that has an understanding of the difficulty we may encounter throughout our awakening. There are moments through our spiritual awakenings, that we may feel so empowered, so filled with wisdom, so filled with knowledge, that we may neglect to seek the assistant or the advice of an elder. And that is where sometimes we encounter the most difficulties. Just as that gift was given to you, it can be taken away. If it is not used properly, it will be taken away. That is part of your lesson. That is something that you must always, always remember. That this is a gift that at any time, if you misuse it, it will be taken away. There will be moments throughout your awakening where you will feel so connected, so empowered, that you will be able to hear your spirits. There can also be times that you will go for a reading and this person will sense your powerful energy and tell you you are ready. You are ready to start offering readings. You are ready to start helping others. But one thing they neglect to tell you, you need patience. This is not a path to be taken lightly. You have a very, very long journey ahead of you. An awakening does not happen just in one day. It's a process. You will go through stages of your awakening. And if you try and go ahead of yourself, just because you can hear your spirits, just because you can feel your spirits, and you begin to offer readings or try to perform cleansings on other people, you may find yourself in a bind because you will absorb that negative energy from anyone you read, from anyone you cleanse. That is why I'm always warning people, do not, do not attempt to cleanse someone. Do not attempt to go and cleanse somebody else's home. If there is a lower level spirit or an attachment in that home, it is not recommended for you to place yourself in that situation because these attachments can follow you home. And if you're not mentally prepared or spiritually prepared, you can find yourself under attack by these entities. And that is the reason why you need an elder or a spiritual teacher by your side. When you do not have the wisdom or the knowledge is like the blind leading the blind. Just because you can hear spirits, just because you can sense them, does not mean that you're ready. If you cannot tell the difference between your thoughts and the voice of each individual spirit that incorporates your spiritual quadrant, if you cannot distinguish between the different kinds of energies that exist, you are not ready. You must first learn to help yourself. And then, only then, your spirits will come to you and reveal to you when you should start serving and helping others. When it comes to the Loire, 
of the 21 division. And I was mentioning this to my godson recently. There is a process after initiation, a seven year process. Yes, exactly as you hear it. Seven years process of learning, of learning to connect with the law, of learning to call the law, serving the law, and also learning how to channel them. There are many, many different ways. And every individual law will teach you something different. And after those seven years, if they feel you are ready, then you will have a particular dream where they will let you know that you can start working and serving them and helping your community. I cannot reveal to you what type of dream it is, but you will know because you will be so advanced that you will recognize the message. For some people, it may take longer than seven years. It all depends on your dedication to the spirits and what are you doing with that gift. Some people, when they find themselves being able to hear spirits, they want to start providing messages to everyone and giving free readings to everyone and five and ten dollar readings and, and two cards reading, one card reading. And you start entangling yourself more and more and more. And your spirits are watching. The spirits are always watching. And if you do not have a spiritual teacher, a godmother, a mentor, an elder that's watching you, then you will be in a lot of trouble. You will be wasting away your gift. That is why so many people reach out to me and tell me, I do not feel my spirits. I used to feel my spirits. I used to hear my spirits. And when I start going deeper and deeper into the conversation with them, asking them questions, I find out, what were you doing? I was doing readings. I, I used to cleanse people. And then all of a sudden, one day, I couldn't hear my spirits anymore. And I asked them, who gave you permission from the spiritual world? to do these things. No one. Absolutely no one. This is a very long path. If you think that in 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you know it all, you're in for a surprise. I've been in this path more than 35 years. The first time I felt my spirits was when I was 7 years old. That is when I first experienced my awakening. And at a very early age, in my teenage years, was that I was given permission through a dream to start reading the tarot. But I always had my main spirit guide or another spirit guiding me through step by step. And one thing I always did, I always followed their advice blindly. If my spirit guide would say, do not do this, I would not do it. If my spirit guides will say, do not read this person, I will not read that person. If my spirit guides will say, do not cleanse that person, I will not cleanse that person. I did exactly as I was told, and I did exactly as I was taught by my godfather and my elders. I made sure to listen and not allow the power and the wisdom that I had go over my head. Because I knew the journey was long. And that was also revealed to me. And even if it's not revealed to you, me personally, as an elder, as a spiritual teacher, I will tell you, slow down. Just as I do with my godchildren, I tell them, slow down, you're going too fast. And I pull the brakes on them. Why? Because I want them to be the best that they can be. And I'm always telling this to my godchildren. I tell them, you have to be the best that you can be. This gift was given to you to use it in a correct way and to serve others. While at the same time, you help yourself and your family. If you do not put it into good use, it will be taken away. And I also personally will back off. If I see that I speak to my God child and they do not listen, I consult it with my spirits and we back off. And then they come with their tail between their legs. This and this happened to me. I say, yes, I saw it coming. I saw everything. I know everything. Because when it comes to my godchildren, my spirit guides reveal to me everything that they're doing. 
if they're doing something right or if they're doing something wrong. Especially if I see greatness in them and I see a strong gift in them. I will push them. And as I always tell you, that's what I'm here for and what my videos are for. So you will not have to make as many mistakes along the way. If you have someone guiding you, teaching you, you will avoid a lot of mistakes. I understand that you may get anxious. I want to work with the spirits. Just recently, somebody placed a comment in one of my videos. How can you help me? I want to start reading cards. I want to start making money. I want to start cleansing people. And I caught the one word. She should have never said, I want to start making money. It's not about the money. It's about serving others and helping them on their journey or healing them if they need some spiritual healing or guiding them if they need spiritual guidance. It's not about the money. One of my spiritual guides told me once, forget about everything you need financially and focus on your spirituality and we will take care of you. Until this day, they have never ever let me down. My spirit guide said, focus on your spirituality and the rest will be added on to you. And I can tell you how grateful and blessed I have been, always, my entire life. I am extremely grateful to God and my spirits. So if you place your focus on developing your gifts, meditation, prayer, spiritual cleansing, this is all part of your spiritual development. You must learn how to cleanse yourself before you lay your hands on someone else. I am telling you, we all go through the experience that we think we know it all. If you cannot distinguish between an earthbound spirit, a lower level entity, an attachment, you're in for a surprise. There are some spirits that we call charlatans. These are spirits that will make themselves pass as your spiritual guide, speak to you constantly, tell you everything that you want to hear, be there when you need to do a reading, and at the end of the day, you will realize that it's not such a good spirit at all because it will drive you insane. So that is why you must have someone by your side. I know a lot of you must say, where can I find a spiritual teacher where can I find a mentor? Where can I find a godmother? That's what your guardian angel is for. And that's what I am here for. I am your spiritual teacher. I am your teacher. If you have not recognized yet that I am here to teach you or what I'm doing, then you have a long way to go. The purpose of my channel is to teach you, guide you, and help you become the best at whatever path God has for you. That's what I'm here for. So if you have not yet realized that I am your spiritual teacher, then you still have some awakening to do. Some people have messaged me and say, I cannot find a godmother. It's not your place to find a godmother. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. You can ask your guardian angel, spiritual guides, please can you place someone in my life or bring someone into my life that can help me in this spiritual path? Someone in this physical world that can guide me and help me. And your guardian angel and your spiritual guides will provide a person. The problem is that when you ask that question, you never wait for your guardian angel or your spirit guides to take action. You immediately go on a hunt to find someone. Go get a reading here, go get a reading there, go get a reading there. When you find someone that scams you, then you go back into your little cave. And sometimes our own spirit guides allow those things to happen as a lesson. So you see, that is why this path, you must walk it slowly. So you are able to recognize the lessons when they come. Because sometimes you may encounter someone that may seem like a good teacher, and then all of a sudden you have a fallout. That person came into your life to teach you a different kind of lesson. And what is that lesson? To take it slow. You are not supposed to go out hunting for a teacher unless your spiritual guides reveal that to you. And they will always, always guide you to the person. 
you might see someone and just feel a connection with that person. I've had many people that have felt that connection with me. But I always say, let's do a reading and let's get to know each other. I just don't take anyone as a God child. It is a process. We must learn to trust each other because it is a long-term relationship. And do not expect your Godmother to teach you everything firsthand. You must earn every teaching just as you earn it from your spirits. Every lesson they teach you, you must earn it. And then wait, because I always wait to make sure you learn the lesson. This is a very long path. And if you try to rush through it, you're going to fall back. I had a dream once when I was developing spiritually, going up a ladder. The ladder was basically going up to heaven. And I was going up that ladder. And every time I would have that dream, I was going further up and further up and further up until there was a point that I saw myself at the top of the ladder. After that, I continued to have different kinds of experiences, awakenings, the releasing of old emotions, old resentments, old traumas that we may say, oh no, I left that in the past, that we may think we left it in the past, but we didn't. They resurface. One particular thing I recommend which helped me a lot in this journey is Reiki. As you all know, I'm a Reiki master and also a Reiki teacher. Reiki helps to bring out all those old memories, to release all that old blockage, everything that's blocking or that you've been holding back. Reiki helps you release it. It kind of accelerates the process and you will have some awesome experiences with Reiki. So I highly recommend Reiki throughout your spiritual development. It should be one thing that you should look into and also meditation. But what's most important, again, is having a mentor or a spiritual teacher or a godmother. A godmother, if you are initiating or feel the calling of the loi, then you should ask your guides to bring someone into your life. This should be extremely important in your journey. Having someone by your side, having someone that has your back, because I have my godchildren's back, one million percent. My godchildren know that they can call me at any time. No matter where I am, anywhere in the world, they have access to me. They know they can count on me. And that is what you need to look for in a spiritual teacher or a godmother. Someone that is there for you, Someone that does not get upset when you ask a lot of questions. And that if you do ask certain questions, that the answers cannot be revealed to you, will know how to explain that to you. Someone that really loves what they do and is dedicated to it. So before you go ahead of yourself, start doing readings, cleansings, because I can hear one spirit or feel energy. Understand that energy is everywhere and that we are all energy. And that everything is energy. So you're going to feel energy regardless. We are all spiritual beings here on a journey. We are all sensitive to energy. Some more than others. But that does not certify you to go and do certain things. You still must learn. Just as in the physical world, we go to school to learn when it comes to spirituality, we must also learn the spiritual lessons. Nobody graduates until you pass all the lessons. So, my dear brothers and sisters, my great students, I hope this video has provided for you answers to questions you most likely had about do I need a spiritual teacher, a mentor, or a madrina. If you have enjoyed this video and have received the message, Give me a like, share, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, this is the moment to do so. And if at any time you feel drawn to book a spiritual path investigation, which will reveal your purpose, who are your guys, and what are your gifts, I will leave the link below. And if you are also interested in purchasing my products, you can visit my website, eSpiritualHealer.com. And before I forget, YouTube has implemented a thanks button. It's right next to the share button. So if at any time you feel grateful for this video or the message in this video, you can press it and just say thank you. Always remember, 
I love you all. I pray for you. God bless you. And much, much love and light.